All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video. Later on over there, we have Naya Huatli is going to be our next deck for today. Um, played this one a few times now, and it's been so much fun every single time we've played it, so excited to try it again. We're basically uh, green-white token splashing red for a few few things. One, we have Huatli Warrior Poet because we're a Huatli deck, so, um, so you know, like that makes sense to have that in there. Then we have Gruel Spellbreaker, which is honestly been really impressive in the deck. This card, uh, just having haste and putting pressure on the opponent's been awesome. But then like the Trample with uh, Huatli Radiant Champions minus one, where you can make one of your creatures really big, has been really clutch. So really been liking the Spellbreakers. And then we also have the Cinder Vines as our other red thing in our sideboard um, for... Uh, for the uh, Reclamation decks and everything. Yep, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Stream each and every day. So yeah, we'll be streaming tomorrow. Normal time though tomorrow from three to 10. We got these tower defenses to save from Finality and Gates of Blaze. That's our card there. And that's what we got, Naya Huali. Let's give it a try. Oh, this is, here, let's do a reset actually. It is. It is laggy here. We've been on for over a little over five hours now. And so I guess I should have maybe done this before recording for the YouTube video, but oh well. <laughs> I have the schedule down below in the info panel, but yeah, it's just every single day, 3 to 10 Eastern time is the normal, is my normal stream time. Uh, Naya Huali. Saturday we'll be doing... So we're doing a 12-hour stream right now. Um, because Unbreakable Formation does not save your creatures from finality. And... Let's see. What, what was the other question? Oh, yeah. but So Saturday we are going to be doing a... Another 12 hour stream. Hmm. I mean, history into history is awesome. We have to draw a land in our first two draw steps to be able to do history into history. Conclave Tribunal is a miss. Come on, land. That's a hit. Hey, what's up, Yed? Yeah, getting online right in time. Got a, a nice fun deck here. Keeping Wilderness Reclamation, huh? So normally we could like Tribunal away like the Wild Growth Walker or something here, but the fact that they want to keep this Wilderness Reclamation, whatever they want to do with it, it can't be good. Or maybe it just doesn't matter. Ma you should surrender now. Your fate is already sealed. Yeah, it could be biogenic ooze. That could be it. So they need a creature with power 4 or greater to draw a card. None of these creatures have powers 4 or greater. They're just doing some chump blocking. Mm. 
The bigger the audience, the better. Attack. They don't even want to trade their branch walker. They'd just rather jump block. Okay. It's a cool animation. So let's go March for six. Draw six. All right, Huatli Warrior Poet. This is about to get interesting. No blockers. Witness my glory. Witness my fame. Alright, so like mono green creatures <laughs> witnessed. <laughs> Um, do I just keep the same against mono green creatures? Hey, the great currywurst. Getting that resub in here. Greetings from Germany. Really enjoying your stream. Looking for some Mardu Legends. All right, so I need to make a Mardu Legends deck, huh? That's probably doable. Are there any good two mana legends in Mardu? Is there anything for two mana for Mardu? I know three mana you have Judith, Captain Lannery Storm, Tajik. Off the top of my head. Like some good threes. Whew, sure got me. No two mana legends in Mardu? Yet. Yeah, just play two mana removal spells. Oh yeah, of course Squee. They are Rex aging real hard. Yeah, Izareth, also good three mana. See, Mardu has plenty of three mana legends. Need to make a picture for mono mono black lich. So they're at seven permanents, three away from Tender Shoot Dryad. My strength is our strength.
Vivian. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. No one said restoration was painless. A fine strike! You learn quickly. My strength is our strength. I guess maybe I should just march. Get three tokens out. Be able to tick up Huali at another three loyalty. The wilds are my shield. It's going to be kind of tough to beat this Tender Shoe Dryad. I think I need to actually save the march and just go even wider. This is actually going to be tough. All right, let, let me finish up with this. Mono black glitch here. Find greater truths elsewhere. Uh, depends, like, I wouldn't say Ooze is just better than Dryad. I mean, it depends. A game like this, Tender Shoe Dryad is a lot better than Ooze, as you can see. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can win from here, honestly. I think we're at, gonna have to try to get game three. It depends on, like, how much mana you have and that kind of stuff. Go to the next game. All right, got everything up there. I guess tribunals aren't very reliable with our opponent playing all those Rex Ages and Vivian and stuff. Um, but I do want to tribunal those dryads. Johnny Pot Pie, thank you for the support there with the tier one sub. I really appreciate that. Let's get some hype in the the chat for our brand new sub. Sub number six on the day. All right, let's see how good a Johnny is. You know, want to hit our land drops, want to be able to go um, curve into a Johnny on four and Huatli Warrior Poet on five. Warrior Poet's a good card to kill a Tender Shoot Dryad. Oh yeah, they have Wild Growth Walker. Oh, 
Yeah, so I wonder what they're doing with that like wilderness reclamation that they had in their deck. We still haven't seen anything for that. It is good seeing yourself what I see in you. And we're just trying to go wide uh, to make our March of the Multitudes better. Sorry, 1-1. One, one. We're going to protect Johnny just a little bit. On. Trade there. Ooh, that's a good draw. Goodish draw. Um, Go Show me what and you're feast made of. on their flesh. Strength is born of struggle. All right, so we have like, oh, I didn't want to actually attack with that three-three life linker. Oh well, it's fine. I want to be able to protect a little better, but like this four-four is a, does a good job of blocking the wild growth walker. I'm playing Hwatli here because like Tristani is going to make the tokens next turn anyway. But I've just getting so Hwatli in play means we just get to keep making more and more dinos. Balance comes. Werewolves. Uh, we're in Innistrad. We're not, we're not on Innistrad, but in Innistrad, they, werewolves were a creature type. You could have werewolf decks. I mean, are they, are they actually dead? 5, 9, 13, 15. Yeah, I guess I just have lethal. Uh, I guess we just kill our opponent. Man. Look how far you have come. We don't get to use Watley more, but fall before me. That's why Watley's pretty cool. Doesn't let them block. So we'll have to see if, if we go back to Innistrad. Um, that'd be when werewolves come back. That's doesn't look like that's anytime soon. Uh, we were at Innistrad not that long ago. I would I would think that'd be a couple years down the line. Next time we would go to Innistrad and have werewolves again. Pretty close hand. I mean, it's a, it's a two lander. With having the flower get us the white source. Yeah, we do have the sheep. That is ridiculously big. Well, even though the opponent's not hitting land drops, I don't have any lands either. Could really use a land. You know, we drew, or I kept, kept you know, like the one lander there, or like the two lander, sorry, on the draw. And so I was hoping by turn three just to draw one land in our first three cards to be able to go Spellbreaker history. But it's not looking like it. Okay. We got one, so we got... Spellbreaker, Spellbreaker or Tribunal. I'm going to try the Tribunal. By this time, how they hit that land drop. The 
at least with them using that early dive down, we got to tribunal away a curious obsession. They would have just waited. I would have tried the Terramander, and then they... So at least we got a Curious Obsession out of it. I don't think we're going to win, though. A new player going to Magic the Gathering. Um, this was a level 1 course written by one of the best players in our game. That I recommend checking out. I don't need to show my opponent anything else. We're dead. Get all these baffling ends and harpooners in. Maybe tower defenses. Crushing canopy kills flyers. Oh no, a lot of maybes. I don't want a Johnny March Watley Legion's Landing? Hmm. Hero Precinct 1 is not looking so good with if we take out all those multicolor spells. Like, March is just pretty slow, right? Do I need Trips Tower Defense? Probably not. <laughs> yep, I was, Yed. I was the SCG Tour Player of the Year in 2017. Yeah, Life Link with March could certainly be relevant. I think I'm willing to play one March. Tower defense gives our creatures reach. They can attack with their flyers. We give our creatures reach. And their creatures die. That's the plan. A mean stream where I play nothing but tier 1 decks. We played a tier 1 deck earlier, the Soul Tie Sanity. I'd call that a tier one deck. Attack. What's our opponent doing over here besides nothing? Their plan just to do nothing? I suppose it is. Chilling with their essence captures. I think it was more likely our opponent could have like a spell pierce for baffling end or, or something. So I just throw the harpooner out there.
So trying to reach a high rank with the most popular channel decks. So do a 12 hour ranked stream on Saturday. No, I I don't think I'd play Reclamation for a donation deck now. Yeah, we just change the deck every five wins or two losses. It's not very many cards. Are you sure you don't want more cards than that opponent? It's really not very many. This hand I have is not very good either, so... Our opponent could pull this off. They have Curious Obsession. They could certainly pull this off. It wasn't a Curious Obsession. No, I don't do modern donation decks. I just play Arena. Spell breaker. If they essence capture and put a counter on their Terramander, they will not be able to adapt their Terramander later. Hmm. Trade Shauna for a Merfolk thingy. Shauna cannot be the target of abilities, so they can't target Trickster. Hmm. Do... <laughs> You're calling Trickster the merfolk thingy? I can't remember the name. Um, do I want to sit back and try to tower defense? Here is the big question. Now we're just going to smash. We'll just race. And I'm playing history because... History makes, you know, the multiple bodies for Shauna and everything. And, you know, makes multiple 4-3s in a couple turns. What else you got, opponent? Some other counter magic? Yeah, I could certainly see them having an essence capture. All right. 
So, I could tower defense and save my Shauna. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was not planning on playing the Spellbreaker if my opponent just kept their mana up and just, you know, like, did some blocking and take damage and stuff. I was planning on just passing because I didn't want my Spellbreaker to get countered, but obviously they're tapped out there, so we get to resolve the Spellbreaker. And that will be a victory. Shauna cannot be the target of, abil of abilities, so Trickster cannot target Shauna. All right, 2-0. Yeah, we have a pretty good sideboard for Mono Blue. Of course, our opponent's on five cards there, but we have a pretty good sideboard with the with everything that we have. You better not spell pierce this. Whew. All right, looks like Mono Blue again. Let's go Hero. So then we can uh, cast the others, and then even if they get countered, we get the extra creatures. Want to build a not so competitive is it mid range list to play some friends with? Any obvious changes you you can see? Haven't. I'll go with Amara. That many fives and 24 lands is going to be really tough. Yeah, like your just your curve in general with with how many lands you have. It's gonna be real tough. But besides that, nothing too obvious. I'd, I'd rather have like 25 or 26 lands. And yeah, I'd change that curve up a little bit. Um, Thanks, Fear the Monkey. All right, we're gonna have to do something here. This Tempest Gen's gonna gonna kill us. Gonna kill us quickly. Even. Oh no. Hmm. 
Can we make this Shauna a 2020? Dang, they blocked it anyway. Alright, lost game one against Mono Blue again. We'll see if we can get games two and three. Let's get the. So we got Baffling Ends, Tribunals, Harpooners, two defense, and Canopy. And taking out Huatli, Ajani, Double March, and Hero. Worked last time. We'll try it again, see if it works again. Um, you know, don't know if it will or not. We're not going to have time for Selesnia Angels. Uh, we're already halfway through our 12-hour uh, stream. And I had it on there basically as, like, just in case we'd have time, but we ran back Mono Black Lich. We did two leagues with that, and so we're not going to have time. Well, this is a pretty aggressive opener. We don't have any interaction, but just landing on one, Amara on two, Spellbreaker three and four. Pretty aggressive, and being aggressive against Mono Blue is a good place to be. The decks for today are all on the left-hand side. We're working our way down. They have a counter spell. Please put some good pressure on them. So, like, if they're trying to trickster to like f get our Amara, they don't get to do that. And at least now they'll never be able to adapt to the Terramander. Yeah, so they they don't have to put the counter on that. That is a May. landing. Yeah, I think, yeah. Ken's got it. So four cards. That's a card I want to get rid of with the Tribunal. I didn't play Spellbreaker or anything into a potential counter spell when we just have like a Danto to be able to activate. All right, that did resolve pretty quickly. All those things resolved.
So yeah, I think we just keep the same, keep our same plan. Cool, Jolner. Yeah, I'll think about that, Jolner. Um. Yeah, I mean, we got we got Harpooner. This is an isn't amazing hand, but we're on six anyway. Uh. Did I not want to see another 5-drop after we put a 5-drop to the bottom? We have two of these Warrior Poets in the deck. Yeah, I've seen the trailer for Avengers 4. It looks, it looks really awesome. I'm definitely excited to see that. Um, it's going to be really good. It was a nice scry, though. Yeah, we did get rid of a card we don't want to draw. So that is good that we know that you know we have a... a one of the cards that we really don't want to draw is on the bottom, currently. And we'll fight through all these counter spells eventually. Maybe, maybe not. Opponent's not hitting land drops, so they could just be sitting with even, you know, they're probably sitting with more, just more counter spells. So I like drawing history here and not just a land, because actually I wouldn't really want Tristani and Huali countered as much. So actually I just like drawing the, the history. Please don't have dive down. Ugh, gross. All right, so I don't think I want to block either of these. Uh, if we, you know, it's it's not super clear that Tristani will resolve, but if Tristani resolves, it will turn Carl Harpooner into a 4-3 flyer, which now it looks like it's gonna resolve. So, or 4 3 with reach. So it, it can block one of these Tempest Gens now. Can that thing adapt? Yes, it can. That's a huge problem. So just, oh, this is a huge problem. My allies are closer than you think. So I can plus two to gain two life. Which isn't very much. Make a dinosaur. Or kill Trickster. I guess a dinosaur is better than Trickster. Come! Sing the song of fame! Alright, so splitting it like this means if we this draw a removal spell for one of their things, we, we're not taking lethal the next turn. Ugh. We did not. Man, we have so many removal spells in our deck, and we only drew one. <laughs> Just the one Harpooner. After sideboard here, you know, we have the four Tribunal, the, the three Baffling End, multiple Harpooners, the three Crushing Canopies, 
and the tower defenses. But only drew one harpooner. Yeah, that, that Terramander, even bef before that, is looking okay-ish. I guess just the combination of both of those, their last turn being Tempest and Terramander. Yuck. So yeah, we we saw game one, we have a tough we have a tough matchup game one against um we noticed that we lost game one both times, you know, played mono blue back to back. Lost game one both times, but then we won three of the four sideboard games. But the thing is is if you're losing game one you gotta be perfect in the sideboard games. Uh, this is going to be tough. I need to kind of start drawing some March of the Multitudes. We can potentially play Tristani next turn if we flip the landing. Then we can... Yeah, we flip the landing, then we get to play Tristani next turn. They have seven cards, though. I don't think Tristani beats seven cards in hand. We're going to need to draw um, some game-breaking cards. They shocked in. So do they have cast down? Maybe. Looks like they have cast down. Yeah, at least Amara doesn't get cast down, so that's good. Let's just take this Wild Growth Walker. Because if they, if they blow up the Tribunal, that's not really a big deal. You know, they had like a Vivian blow up the Tribunal. But the Wild Growth Walker being a 4-6, you know, attacking us and everything. Getting that off the battlefield is nice. So that's what we have. Those are our first four turns. We are on the draw. Our opponent's on turn five on the play now. Emptied our hand. Hope that's good enough. Again, March of the Multitudes is like our best draw. Finality, the worst one for us to see. Attack. We do not want our opponent to have finality. Uh, 
As long as they don't have finality, we can, you know, maybe pull this out. But a finality basically ends the game on the spot. Gross. That's why, this is why I have tower defenses in my sideboard, by the way, because Sultai plays like, you know, big things like this, so you, like your, basically your only game plan that's, that works against Sultai is going wide, and Finality is the card that um, punishes you for going wide. Against like normal control, that's why I like it more than um, Unbreakable Formation that <clears throat> saves your creatures from Kaiser Wrath. Because against normal control, they don't have like the blockers. You don't have to overcommit to the board, but against Sultai you do. So I think I'm just going to be taking out Tribunals for Tower Defenses and trying to go wide. All right, let's try again. Well, not a mulligan. I would like a white source. But the the chance of going Amara history at Johnny is is um, is really strong. And of course, we have more white sources than anything else in the deck, as far as mana goes. All right, we drew our white source. Thank you, deck. So now I think the card that I want the most is actually just tower defense. Right? Are they keeping Vivian? Okay. If I play the other history, I don't I get to really attack through this sword. Jade Light Deliver Ranger. Us to victory. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the Ajani. So that I can. Yeah, Unbreakable Formation would be okay. I It would just kind of take this, the slots of the Planeswalkers. Be the same kind of thing there. So they've cried the Carnarium also. That's so rude. It's so rude. Uh, no. Tower defense. Again. Tower defense saves your creatures from finality. Unbreakable formation does not save creatures from finality. Hmm. If I kept the last one, I should probably be keeping this one. That's okay. Do not want to see a cry of the Carnarium early.
Thieva Sanity? They want Thief of Sanity and Cry the Carnarium in the same deck? So, while Thief can get extra cards, Thief does not play defense well at all. Uh, which is kind of good for us. We can be just an offensive deck. Just try to win this race here. So, Rai, realistically, why play Huatli over Vivian if you have green? Kind of depends on, on what you want to be... You know, what what you want to be doing. Vivian tick, ticks up, finds creatures. If you don't really have very good creatures to find, it's not as valuable. And if you're an aggressive deck, Huatli's minus can... help clear the battlefield or like help keep keep them from being able to block all right so cry the carnarium could get me this turn for sure but i'm going with going history to history instead of the ajani this this time following up with tristani next turn Have all of these knights be five power attackers. Alright, that is not... Not a cry of the Carnarium. So I'm not really attacking for lethal here. I guess I should send two things at Vraska and not, not let them keep this Vraska, I guess. Well, let's see. What are we attacking for? I guess it's nine. Yeah, let's let's just attack them. I put some down to five. Spellbreaker isn't lethal, but we can also have like the spellbreaker kill the Golgari Queen if we need to. Yeah, our opponent needs finality. You know, we just... you. I have the tower defenses in here for finalities, but we didn't draw any, so... There's a tower defense. An unfortunate casualty. It's usually the kind of game against Soltai is do they have finality or not. Back to the shadows for now. So they still have five cards plus the three cards they took from us. Alright, I'll take that. Oops. Man Matter with the Twitch Prime sub. We 
Thank you so much, Man together. Matter. I really appreciate that. So I have Hero of Precinct 1 is something I could minus and get. I will lend you my strength. If we got Hero, we could like end step March for 4. I do like taking up Tristani though, in case of another finality. All right, so matter is sub number seven on the day. And we're now three and one. We keep on having this hand of like one white source and double history banalia and it's just like do we draw the the white source it's like hopefully Got there. My two favorite trifecta of colors would be uh, Naya and Band. I like green white. Yeah, Dutch stream is going really good. We are over. Over halfway through by now. Still going. Trading the 2-1 branch walker for my 1-1 isn't really that good of a trade for me when I have March. But I think it's kind of worth seeing if my opponent does block there. And trying to get the damage in. I don't really know how to add a time counter as far as like adding a time counter for the 12 hour streams. I don't really know how to do that, but it would be a nice feature. The fact that they're not chumping with the Merfolk Branch Walker does make me feel better about them having a finality. I don't, like, playing history is our best play there, but it is, you know, bad against finality, basically. Saturday, we're going to be doing a 12-hour stream, Dutch. All right. I'm going to hopefully... Let's march for four and hope to draw land for Tristani. So come on, land. Land? Uh, no land. Let's go... Watley makes one of these things the big. Of many, the might of one. So they have to chump block the 8-8, eight, eight, have the 4-4 four, four trade with one of those. And we deal 11. Ugh. Or we deal 10. No, yeah, we dealt 11. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can play Mardu Angels. Uh, not, I'm not playing it today, but I mean, I could do that on Saturday. My strength is our strength. They had finality, but they're only at two. They're probably looking at their cast downs in their hand. What am I supposed to do with these? Uh, that looks like that's lethal. So we're going to Tristani. Grow these things now. The Shauna is lethal, and now the Amara From is lethal. The will of many, the might of one. <laughs> it feels really good, Joe. Yeah. That was, that was very good. Um. All right, so same thing we did last time was just bringing in these tower defenses and cutting the tribunals. And it worked out, so let's try it again. Yeah, Huatli did, definitely did some work there. Thanks, Isop Sun. Why does the deck need red? Because we need, we need Huatli Warrior Poet. We can't be a Huatli deck if we're not playing the Warrior Poet. Nah, I'm not playing any baffling ends versus them. I am trying to... Trying to keep my deck very synergistic and powerful, and I don't want to just have a bunch of like removal spells and things that water down the deck. Do you have any suggestions on learning how to sideboard? Um, besides, really the, you know, I don't know if there's like, you know, just like Google searching can find anything, I don't know. Um, I, I haven't really looked through the, the level one course there, but I know that there are things about sideboarding in, in there, but I don't know exactly what. Yeah, Wild Growth Walker is okay. Wild Growth Walker, of course, forces us to go wide, and going wide is difficult against finality, and so that's why I have the tower defenses to stop the finalities. Basically, as long as our opponent doesn't have finality, we're okay. That's the big thing. Let's do that finality. Um. See, I've seen things that would break someone like you. That's gonna be a lot. That's gonna be a little more challenging now. Vivian. It's gonna make this more challenging. History. The more I conquer, the sweeter the victory. March the multitudes. Where are you at? We need marches you and Tristanis. Stop nature. That's what we need. 
<clears throat> Vivian's certainly going to make this difficult. Go and feast on their flesh. I still can't really beat, um... Still can't beat Finality. Come to me. Out. How many creatures we got? Three, four, five, six, seven. I have arrived. So eleven. From the will of many, the might of one. Yeah, hopefully this 11-11 trampler helps. So, at least we we can keep Vivian from ultimating. Ooh. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. This is kind of like a block that Meet my newest friend. It helps, but like this Vivian has just been incredible. I'm finding him all these crazies and carnage tyrants and stuff. From the will of many, the might of one. Ah! I'm a survivor. Yeah, hopefully Vivian's putting some finalities down at the bottom, absolutely. This is not really a matchup where we're going to forward half of our cards this is but one to be lands. Of the ballad. Not when the opponent's got this. No Looks one like we're going to a game three. Like I do. Hey, Evo. All right, get to be on the play. Hopefully we draw some Marches and Tristanis in the late game. Unlike that, unlike that game there. Um, all right, we got a lot of, we're gonna have a lot of creatures. We're going to have landing on one, hero on two, flower plus Amara. That's a good draw. I need lands, though. Alright, hero precinct one doesn't die. That's certainly good for us.
Hmm. Really wanted to land here. Really wanted to land. So that second main, we could play Tristani or Huatli. No, why would you possibly tap my, my green source deck? Why would you want to do that? At least it's, doesn't seem like a cry of the Carnarium if they're playing another land war off down. Um... I think I'm protecting against finality here. I should shock with stomping ground there to like tell my opponent I have March of the Multitudes. Yeah, I should have shocked. Need more lands. I don't need another five drop. I mean, I guess I could just play Huatli. Really want to be able to double spell. Stuck on mana. I can't hold up tower defense and play a reasonable card. So I guess I'm just sitting back. Not drawing March of the Multitudes is tough. Yeah, thinking about just attacking with Amara and all the vampires. All the 1-1s. One -ones. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. I'll probably have my opponent throw out this finality. I think they got a negate. Thanks for just killing your own creatures. That was kind of you. Thanks for just wiping your board. Tower defense. It worked. It worked. Super super secret tech. Didn't know if it would ever work. It did. We got it to work. Opponent spends six mana to destroy all their creatures.
Oh, that was awesome. The trap card. Hey, DJ Polly B. Yeah, Poto was not expected that one. <laughs> you wouldn't have had the patience. You would have just slammed down a five drop. Yeah, that that was tough having that much patience for sure. So we are four and one. Trent's got it. Here we go. Final boss time. Final boss time. Nobody expects the Spanish defense. That tower defense. Well, we need any land to get history into history. Yeah, Abzan Legends was pretty fun to play. Yeah. The... Yeah, there you go. People in chat, gotcha. Did not expect... Opponent was not expecting that tower defense. Alright, what's this opponent doing now? Hope they're not playing a main deck fiery cannonade kind of deck. Alright, sabotage. We have been sabotaged. Just got control. Hmm. All right, you got me. Since we're playing against a deck that most likely has a good amount of counters, I didn't really if we didn't need the hero first, I don't think. Or like a good amount of sweepers. But I'm trying it now. Peace. You got settle. You got settle. Settle wouldn't be too beneficial. Oh. I think you think they tried to play that settle. Couldn't do it. Spellbreaker's great. Alright, let's get some Cinder Vines up in here. Cut these Tribunals. And cut the... Uh, Shauna? Yeah, let's get rid of the Shauna also. No, it's not good. Could see taking a hero out. I guess I'll take Sean out. Sean is the kind of threat that you, you absolutely need other other creatures in play already. Nah, I'm just not worried about Niv. Yeah, that was a quick game. We only got through the first song of our final boss playlist. I kind of want to just go with the Cinder Vines there. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough.
I know I could have played some some spells and got tokens out first. I kind of want to see if they would if they would tap out for counter magic, you know, and, and everything. But I could have played the flower and cinder vines pre combat and made a couple one ones. But so that's that's kind of why I didn't was like ionize. I wanted to see if they would take the two or if they would use a removal spell first. Let's, ooh, let's see what we got. Red so or just oh we just needed I just needed any land so I could spellbreaker plus cinder vines. I didn't need a red source. I need just wanted any land. Um, haste. I should really get back to the lab. Yeah, I wanted to draw the land there to be able to cinder vines, but history's gonna come in clutch later, most likely. Ooh, poor opponent. That is, this this is not a time a you want to play to fairy. Not so fast. Um, if I play Tristani, looking at five damage. Now let's get let's get cinder vines. If they are, I don't. I'm fine putting a, a history out here. I don't think that they have a sweeper. I think if they had a sweeper, they would have played the sweeper last turn. So we'll, we'll just attack this to fairy for one, them for three. Even if they have a sweeper, we still get the back half of the history anyway. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Lyra Dawnbringer would be the card that they could play. That I guess I did not really keep answers in for. Niv Mizzet I wasn't worried about, but Lyra, I suppose that would be a card that would be a problematic card. We got almost lethal. That's actually the that's actually the name of my autobiography, almost lethal. That's what I usually have, and then my opponent wins. I'm like, all right, I have almost lethal, and then they're like, wilderness reclamation. Next is a fate. Next is a fate. Next is a fate. Two more wilderness reclamation. Explosion for twenty. You're dead. I was like, ah, I had almost lethal. So it looks like our opponent's just uh, given up here. It looks like we're going to get that 5-1 with Naya Huatli. There we go, is this 5-1? <laughs> I just marked it. You spell pierced an explosion for 22? Dude, that is the best feeling ever. This is this is part of the final song playlist or final boss playlist. I have I have four songs in the final final boss playlist. So this is So yeah, you hear these songs whenever we play the final boss. All right, five wins. Got there. 2100 gold. 
40 gems. And a birdie. 40 gems and a birdie. All right, so Naya Huali performed pretty well. We got to, we finally played against Sultai where we drew tower defense. We got to tower defense our opponent's finality. It was game winning. It was sweet. Um, so super secret tech opponent was not ready for it. They tried to kill all of our stuff. Um, yeah, worked out awesome. So there we go. All right, so that's Naya Huatli. So if you are watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. We are almost to 2,000 subs, or that'll be a 12-hour stream goal. These are all separate, of course, 12-hour stream goals. It's not like for a 12-hour stream we have to hit all of these. Um, but we have that. Uh, since we have we have like more people in here, if um, we have a new sponsor with Harry's that started yesterday. If you sign up for Harry's, uh, you you can actually get their starter set for only $3. So usually the starter set, and so like you can find the link below uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel also, or just put it here in chat. Use the, use my referral link and also the coupon code ToddStevensMTG. Um, so you get, for the, in the starter set, you get the you get like one of their razors, the really nice handle that I've I've actually been using this handle for like three years now, uh, and you get you know like their blades of course, and also some uh, shaving cream. So that's usually thirteen dollars. It's usually thirteen dollars. You get five dollars off for using uh, my referral link and coupon code, so it turns it to eight dollars, and then you also get five dollars off if you sign up for the subscription. That, that makes it $3. The subscription is cancel any time. So if you're not satisfied, you know, before it renews, you can cancel your subscription, but you get that for $3. And uh, if you do sign up for Harry's, you get a donation deck for only $10. So usually donation decks are $20 for if you want to see your deck on stream. But you can sign up for Harry's through my link and stuff for only $3 and then just another $10 for a donation deck. So you can save money on a donation deck also. So if you're planning on wanting to do a donation deck, get yourself a nice Harry's razor and also save some money there. All right, Naya Huatli, good job, way to go. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you for the next video.